Awesome. Thank you so much for being here today, Hi, Lorraine. Hi, Marla. It's so great to see you. We really appreciate it. It's Absolutely. been an amazing conference this week. It has been very busy. We very heard busy. a lot of new terms. I think we need some help. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Absolutely. As the expert you are. So we've been hearing these new terms, weaponized agile and industrialized agile. Can you explain what weaponized agile is? Yes. Weaponized agile is when the executive team or management takes some of the data out of agile and uses it against the team. Mm -hmm. So it's using the agile principles or some of the practices against the teams in a negative fashion. Often creates um, incenting the wrong behaviors. Mm -hmm. So it's things like um, comparing teams on the velocity that they're doing, on the points value that they're that they're getting done sprint over sprint. Or even some companies have gone so far as to give bonuses based on the number of mm. points being done. And it just creates the wrong behaviors and incents the wrong behaviors. It's also used very much when companies don't want to give up the command and control environment and push some decision making down. And it's used to um, you know, negatively impact teams and people versus the positive environment that was the intention of Agile. Industrialized Agile is where you take not only the practices, but the principles of agility and really embed those in the DNA of the organization. Mm -hmm. So Agile becomes actually part of who you are as a corporate culture. And it's, it's a great way of bringing all the positiveness of agility and getting all of the benefits of agility. Now, how does this relate to the Agile Theater? We've been hearing a lot about the Agile Theater this week as well. Agile Theater is a fun term, and it's practiced widely and broadly from my experience. <laughs> it's where teams are doing the practices of agility and holding what we call theater, right? So they're, you can see them doing daily stand-ups, but they're still talking to the scrum master who previously was the, the project manager. And so they're not talking to each other. They're not using it um, in the appropriate manner to be a plan for the day they're using it more as a status report and it's it's doing things like that that are really just playing at agile and playing like you're doing agile rather than really being agile and absorbing the principles of of agility now in your new book modern business management do you talk about these philosophies um, I, we don't talk about which weaponized agility, but we do talk about how to industrialize it into your organization, how to bring it in um, in a positive fashion, as well as what to look for and how to identify kind of that, the people doing agile rather than being agile. So yeah, we definitely talk about that. Oh, that's wonderful. So do you know of any companies that are, let, let's weaponize, we don't want to talk about that, no. right? <laughs> But industrialized, I know yep. you probably can't talk about the company name, but I know you work with many large corporations. So can you give an example? Well, quite frankly, Steve Denning actually lists out the corporations. Okay. And he <laughs> um, it talks about places like Amazon, PayPal. They're mm -hmm. the people that are now the market caps in the on the stock exchange. Um, the companies that are kind of doing it wrong are now dropping in market value and the companies that are doing it well are rising in market value. So it makes a big difference to the bottom line of your organization. Absolutely. Thank you so much You're for welcome. being here today. Thanks, Marla.